Hey there, YouTubers. Some people have this problem on their laptops and other screens, maybe. You get these lines that just run, they're running vertically. Um, they'll be different colors, so don't worry about the color or the position. They can occur anywhere on your screen. Um, what, what's occurred is, um, sadly to say, either an animal of yours, a friend of yours, a person you had over, or you yourself dropped, bumped, or did something that kind of hit the laptop a little bit hard and it sucks and you can deny it all you want and I'll deny that this ever happened too but you can find out the easy fix right here look at my hand I'm gonna twist the top of the laptop here and look at that well it changed color also but it goes away if I twist far enough it's completely gone if I twist the other way that right side you can see these yellow ones they go away so What's occurring, I'm going to twist back and forth just so you can see that they, they will disappear. Uh, what's occurring is behind your LCD or LED, whatever you have, um, there's being pressure applied to it and it can't transmit its signal properly at this point. When you twist, you're almost fixing the uh, signal contacts is what you're doing. So what you have to do, it's quite simple. Um, every laptop's different though, of course. If you take, oh boy, if you pop off, you have up, up top here, in your corners and everything, you should have, I'm not sure why this one isn't coming out right now. Okay, they're glued in and my cap came off for some reason. but. They all pop off. I'm, I haven't broken this one apart yet, so I don't want to tear them apart until I'm ready. Uh, behind each of these um, circular ones, and sometimes these have them also, there's screws. And that will allow you to take apart, actually separate, your two pieces here. Then you can put and leave your monitor on. Yeah, it's kind of a bad idea. Um, but you can put pressure on those points and find out what makes that go away. Place a business card or two in between these two, screw it back together, and you should be good to go. It, it, it'll be gone if, if you set it up properly and put proper pressure where it should be. So I hope that helps some people with this problem. It, it seems to happen a lot on Dells, um, not to be a main call out, but I've never seen this happen on anything but a Dell. Um, call it cheap manufacturing, what you want, um, whatever. Um, just to show you sudden, if, if you go to, like, uh, Firefox, it's, get, oh, click on it. It's a white background, so they kind of, they kind of disappear on white. They're kind of gone. But they're actually there. You just can't see them very well, nor can I, but it, it's still there, just on darker it shows better. Still. So. Test it out, see if that's your issue. You'll know exactly what needs to be done. You'll know that nothing's really broken. You'll know that it's not a driver issue. You'll know that it's not your graphics card going bad. It's just simply your screen has been bent the wrong way or something in here has changed so that it's not projecting properly. Hope that helps some people. Brat Boy is always here to help you guys. If you got any questions about this, let me know. I'll try to help. Otherwise, have a professional do it. They'll probably want to throw a whole new screen in, which can be expensive. So, if um, you know you're feeling a little bit adventurous and you have the money to replace it, why not try to fix it on your own? If you just need to replace it anyways, try to fix it on your own. If you break the whole screen, they're gonna fix it anyways because you were gonna pay for it to be done. Have a good one, guys.